as a safety and health advisor. I hate to see people get hurt in incidents that never should have happened. Take Skip and Ted's story. Their crew was reconductoring a three-phase tie line. The new distribution line was energized, and the crew was about to transfer the remaining customer taps to the new feeder. Skip went up in the bucket to transfer the riser jumper to the new conductor. He didn't place any cover-up, and he left his hot stick hanging on the old line's road face. He also left at ends hanging over his bucket railing. For some reason, Skip lowered his bucket and had Ted hand him the new pole's loose, unattached guy line. Then Skip took the bucket and the guy back up. But he apparently couldn't reach the new guy's attachment point from where the bucket was. He reached back for his bucket's pistol grip control, but he overshot and contacted the old energized conductor. Ted brought the bucket down and he got Skip out. He began CPR and called 911. Skip survived, but received a bad shock and some nasty burns. Now, like I said, this didn't need to happen. What are some of the things this crew did wrong? First, Skip obviously violated minimum approach distance, and he didn't bother to place any insulation. He wasn't wearing proper PPE. The guys found his insulated rubber gloves still in their bag, hanging inside the bucket with him. And he had conductive materials hanging off his bucket. Now, this is why all the safety measures you're about to see matter. Overhead is important, but dangerous work. Don't take shortcuts like Skip and Ted did. Pay close attention and stay safe. You want to help make my job a little easier, don't you?